It's a bit of a dry week on the car front this week. I've dry than a nuns. So, we're going to do something a little bit different, and we're going to have a look at the ranking system within GTA Online. More specifically, how does it work? What ranks are realistic? Is level 8000 ever real? Here's a clue. No! And what's the highest rank you can realistically get to? And how long would it take? So keep watching because some of those answers may surprise you. You all know this guy, level 7982, flying about the lobby on his oppressor with his bright red icon shooting everything. But can that rank ever be real? Well, let's find out. In order to work that out, I need to do some math. And yeah, because I'm English, we're doing the plural. So to get this going, I needed to set up some personas. And here they are. We've got Dave McCasual, now he plays for two and a half hours a day and he manages to get on twice a week. Then we've got Sally Sirius, four hours a day and she loves this sh so she's on it seven days a week. I also thought I'd consider a full-time YouTuber. Now they are going to have to split their time between recording and editing, so I thought they'd probably be able to spend around three hours a day in GTA Online and they'd be doing that five days a week. Then last but by no means least, we've got little Timmy Nograss. He's on this all the time, even more at the weekend. So I worked him out at nine hours a day, seven days a week. Now that's a grind. Okay, so now we've got our people set up, we need to understand how the ranking system actually works. So the levels are awarded based on the total number of RP that you achieved in the game. Now you get RP for doing stuff. That can be anything from a headshot to completing a mission to finishing a heist, even just being near your CEO. So the amount of RP that people will earn in any given session does vary depending on what you're doing and your kind of play style. Another important part of how the ranking system works is, with one exception, the amount of RP you need to reach the next point is always more than what you needed to reach the current level. Stay with me now. So for example, to move up from rank 14 to 15, you need to gain 6,000 RP. To go from 15 to 16, you need 6,200. From 16 to 17, 6,600, and so on and so on. So you always need more. And that's why you will probably have noticed the higher your rank gets, the longer it takes you to move up another step because you always need more than you needed to get there. And just to illustrate that, the amount of RP that you need to move up the last 10 ranks, so to go from rank 7,990 to rank 8,000, you need the same number as RP that you would need to go from level 1 to level 199. That's how much it changes the further through the ranks you get. So for that reason, we need to be a little bit clever how we work out how quickly you can move through these ranks. So in order to work this out, I'm going to need to know something else. We're going to need to know what's the average amount of RP that people earn in the game. So to do this, I turned to the one and only source of truth and honesty, and that is Reddit. So after scouring Reddit for a while, I managed to find a few threads where people had posted their playtime in days along with their current rank. Now I used this to work back and figure out the average RP that players earn in a day of playtime. So there we are, we've got it. We've got everything we need, we've got all of our ingredients. So now let's look at how that works with our personas that we created earlier. So how long would it take them all to reach level 8000? Well, Dave McCasual, he's in for a long run. It's going to take him 788 years to reach level 8000. That's more time than it took Yoda to become a fully trained Jedi. When 900 years old you reach, look as good you are not. Hmm? And then there's Sally Sirius. It would take her just over 140 years. So if she'd have started playing around about the time they finished building the Eiffel Tower, she'd just about be a level 8000 by now. Looking at the YouTuber, whose playtime slightly lower, they would have needed to have started playing when the Treaty of Paris was signed. Now I know Rockstar have a tendency to milk their games, but that's a little bit much, even they're not that bad. 
And then last we as ever we come to little Timmy Nograss and it would still take him with his oppressive schedule it would take him 62 years to get to level 8000 and you never know he might even have his own credit card by then. That pretty much tells me that the level 8000 it's never genuine. Oh there's a big surprise! That's an incredible... I think I'm gonna have a heart attack and die from that surprise! Now, I don't think that's the surprise of the century for most of you. But what it did get me thinking is, what level would our personas have actually got to? And what's the maximum realistic, legitimate level you could come across in a lobby? So let's work back through it. Dave McCasual. If he'd have been playing at the same level for the full 10 years that the game's been out, he'd be level 610 by now. Sally would be 1839, the YouTuber would be 1255, and little Timmy Nograss would be 2947. Now at this point I started to doubt my figures, because I know I've seen that some of the other YouTubers have done videos on how to grind up to about level 1200, so some of my figures don't necessarily account for the fact that some people may be totally focused on grinding RP. So I went back to my data from Reddit, and there was one outlier whose RP per day was much higher than everyone else's, more than twice anyone else's. And as I say, it's Reddit, so it must be true because no one would lie on Reddit. So what I did, I reworked it out, assuming that our personas were as efficient as this player. And with those figures, Dave was level 1118, Sally was 3127, the YouTuber got to 2185, and little Timmy Nograss was level 4896. So what does this mean in terms of what you're likely to encounter in a session? Well, there are probably a handful of people out there with ranks in the 4500 to 5000 range, there will be a very small number of people with ranks above about 1,300. So if you know one of them, then, you know, well done. I'm not doubting that that isn't real, but I would be very suspicious of anyone above that sort of level. I think the way to tell is what are they doing? Looking at the figures as I've worked them out today, the amount of effort required to get above about level 1300 is huge. So you can guarantee if that's a genuine rank, they're not going to be bothered about your MC delivery. So if they're in the lobby and they're leaving everyone alone, there's a good chance it's genuine. But if they're above level 1000 and they're attacking everyone... At best, they're assholes. So that's all for this video. I hope you found it useful and maybe even slightly interesting. If you've got any comments, please drop a like and dive into the comments. I'm always answering my comments, so I'd love to hear anything that any of you have got to say about anything I've talked about in this video. And I will see you in the next one.